Cybersecurity is crucial in our digital world. Protecting our data and systems is more important than ever. We face threats from hackers and malware every day. Learning about cybersecurity is essential for everyone. Free tools and exercises offer a great way to learn. These resources provide practical experience. You can build your skills in a safe environment. This essay will guide you through a 12-week journey. Each week, you'll explore new tools and techniques. You'll use websites and exercises to practice. This hands-on approach will give you a strong foundation. You'll be well on your way to becoming cyber savvy. This week, we'll start with the basics. You'll learn about essential tools and concepts. We'll use free resources to get you started. This tool captures and analyzes network traffic. Nmap scans networks to identify connected devices. This software creates virtual machines on your computer. A Linux distribution designed for penetration testing and security auditing. Offers free cybersecurity courses and training. Provides free online courses, including computer science basics. One, learn how to navigate the Linux terminal using commands like dial, etc. One, use Nmap to scan your home network and identify connected devices. One, familiarize yourself with cloud platforms by creating a free tier AWS account. This week, we focus on vulnerabilities. These are weaknesses in systems that attackers can exploit. We'll use tools to find and understand these vulnerabilities. A powerful vulnerability scanner used by professionals. A free and open source vulnerability scanner. The Open Web Application Security Project provides resources on web application security, offers hands-on cybersecurity labs and challenges. One, use Nessus or OpenVAS to scan a website for vulnerabilities. Ensure you have permission. 1. Learn basic commands in curl to interact with web servers and APIs. 1. Explore the Metasploit framework and learn about its basic functionalities. Web applications are common targets for attackers. This week we'll focus on tools and techniques for testing web application security. A comprehensive web application security testing toolkit. Another popular free and open source web application scanner offers challenging penetration testing labs with vulnerable machines. A deliberately insecure web application used for learning web security. One, use Burp Suite or Zap to scan a web application for vulnerabilities. Ensure you have permission. One, learn about SQL injection vulnerabilities and how to prevent them. One, conduct a basic IT risk assessment of your home network or a small website. Section 5, Week 4, Understanding Network Traffic. Understanding network traffic is crucial for cybersecurity. This week, we'll delve into tools that capture and analyze network packets tools. First, we have Wireshark. This is a review from Week 1, but we'll continue exploring Wireshark's advanced features for in-depth traffic analysis. Next, there's TCP Dump, a command line tool for capturing and analyzing network traffic. And finally, Ether AP, a graphical network traffic analyzer that visually represents data flows. Websites Packet Live provides tutorials and resources on network analysis and troubleshooting. SolarWinds offers a free tool called Network Performance Monitor for basic network monitoring exercises. For packet analysis, use Wireshark to capture and analyze network traffic from your computer. Identify different protocols and data flows. For network traffic monitoring, set up TCP dump to monitor network traffic for specific events or suspicious activity. Section 6, Week 5, Cracking the Code. Password cracking is a critical skill for penetration testers. This week we'll explore tools and techniques used to test password strength and recover lost passwords. Tools, John the Ripper, is a popular password cracking tool known for its speed and flexibility. Hydra is a fast network login cracker that supports various protocols. Websites. Crackstation offers a free online hash cracking service for common hash types. The Hashcat Wiki provides comprehensive documentation on using Hashcat, a powerful GPU-based password cracking tool. Exercises. For password cracking, use John the Ripper to crack weak passwords using word lists and basic techniques. Understand the concept of brute force attacks and their limitations in password cracking, and practice navigating the AWS platform by creating a cost estimate for a hypothetical service. Section 7, Week 6, Logs Tell a Story. Logs are essential for security monitoring and incident response. 
This week, we'll dive into log analysis techniques and tools for managing log data. Tools. Splunk is a powerful log management and analysis platform used by security professionals. Kibana is an open source data visualization tool often used with Elasticsearch for log analysis. Website Splunk Education offers free training and certifications on Splunk. Elastic.co provides documentation and resources on Elasticsearch and Kibana. Exercises for log analysis learn to read and analyze log files from different sources such as web servers and operating systems. Use Kibana to create visualizations and dashboards for monitoring log data and explore basic log management concepts and best practices. Section 8, Week 7, Building Strong Defences, Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, or IDPS, are crucial for defending networks against attacks. This week, we'll explore popular IDPS tools and learn how to configure them. Tools Snort, a widely used open source intrusion detection system. Suricata, a high performance network security monitoring and intrusion detection engine. Website Snort Rules, which provides a repository of Snort rules for detecting various attacks. Suricata-ids.org, the official website for Suricata, offering documentation and resources. Exercises, setting up Snort. Install and configure Snort on a virtual machine and learn how to analyze alerts. Writing and testing rules. Write basic Snort rules to detect specific network traffic patterns and test their effectiveness. Section 9, Week 9, Secure Connections. Secure remote access is essential for managing systems and protecting sensitive data. This week, we'll explore tools and techniques for secure shell or SSH connections and virtual private networks or VPNs. Tools Open SSH, a widely used open source implementation of the SSH protocol. Putty, a free and open source terminal emulator that supports SSH connections. Websites, DigitalOcean Tutorials, which provide excellent tutorials on setting up and managing SSH servers. SSH Academy, offering in-depth information and resources on SSH. Exercises, secure remote access, set up an SSH server on a virtual machine and connect to it securely using PuTTY. Setting up a VPN, learn about different VPN protocols and how to configure a VPN connection for secure remote access. Section 10, Week 10, Encryption Essentials. Encryption is crucial for protecting data confidentiality. This week, we'll explore tools and techniques for encrypting files and creating virtual encrypted disks. VeraCrypt, a powerful open source disk encryption software. Cryptomator, a cloud-focused encryption tool that protects files individually. TrueCrypt documentation. While TrueCrypt is no longer maintained, its documentation provides valuable information on disk encryption concepts. Security in a Box offers guides and resources on various security topics, including encryption. 1. Encrypting files. Use VeraCrypt to create an encrypted container and store sensitive files securely. 2. Setting up virtual disks. Create a virtual encrypted disk using VeraCrypt to protect an entire partition or drive. Section 11, Week 11, Risk Management Essentials. Risk management is a crucial aspect of cybersecurity. This week we'll explore frameworks and methodologies for identifying, assessing and mitigating risks. Risk Management Framework, or RMF, a structured approach to managing information security risks. OASP Methodologies. OASP provides various methodologies for managing application security risks, NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology offers resources on risk management frameworks. ISACA, the Information Systems Audit and Control Association, provides guidance on risk management practices. One, risk assessment. Conduct a simple risk assessment of your home network or a specific system identifying potential threats and vulnerabilities. Two, action plan. Develop an action plan to mitigate the identified risks, prioritizing actions based on their potential impact and likelihood. Section 12, Week 12, Digital Forensics Fundamentals. Digital forensics plays a vital role in investigating cybercrime and security incidents. This week, we'll explore tools and techniques used in digital forensics investigations. Autopsy a powerful open source digital forensics platform for analyzing hard drives and mobile devices. FTK Imager, a free tool for creating forensic images of hard drives and other storage media. Forensic Focus provides news, articles and resources on digital forensics. 
Autopsy User Guide offers comprehensive documentation on using the Autopsy Digital Forensics platform. 1. Analyzing digital evidence. Use Autopsy to analyze a sample disk image available online and practice extracting artifacts. 2. Creating disk images. Learn how to create forensic images of storage media using FTK Imager, ensuring data integrity. Section 13, Conclusion. Your cybersecurity journey begins. This 12-week journey has provided a glimpse into the exciting world of cybersecurity. You've explored essential tools, websites, and practical exercises. This hands-on approach is key to building a strong foundation. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing journey. Embrace continuous learning and stay updated on the latest threats and technologies. The tools and resources discussed here are valuable assets for your cybersecurity toolkit. Use these resources to practice, experiment, and deepen your understanding. Engage with the cybersecurity community, ask questions, and share your knowledge. By embracing practical learning, you'll be well-equipped to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity.